Honestly, I don't think I'm going to cry even once. It's testing me. I'm not going to cry, but it's testing me. <laughs> I guess this book wins. Fine. Everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog, a 24-hour reading vlog. I asked you a couple weeks ago to give me recommendations of the saddest books you have read because I'm in need of a good cry, apparently. I haven't cried while reading a book in forever. I will cry easily watching a movie, not reading a book. So I thought it would be a fun challenge. I grabbed your list, went to a couple used bookstores, and I was able to find quite a few of these. And because a lot of these are on the shorter side, I thought might as well tra traumatize me properly. And uh, I'm gonna try to read as many of them as possible within 24 hours. And we're gonna count. It's gonna be like me versus the books. So every time I cry, I lose a point. They gain a point, the books. And then whenever I don't cry, I get the point. So you know, gotta make it a little competitive. So quickly, the books I'm hoping to read, a lot of these I don't know anything, which I feel like is key if I wanna cry. I need to not have any spoilers. And I'm telling you right now, my assumption for every single one of these is that someone or a pet dies because that, that's how they get you every single time. So <laughs> uh, the first one of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, which is a high school kind of book. I feel like everyone had to read this in high school. I went to high school in French, so we didn't have to read this. Although to be fair, in English, we did have to read Fahrenheit 451. And I still think this is cruel to make people read that in their second language. I reread it as an adult and I still thought it wasn't an easy book. But yes, my copy is clearly from a high school, by the way. Um, but yes, I believe this is friendship between two men. So I'm assuming one of them dies, but it's really short. It's like a hundred pages. I read earlier this year, uh, East of Eden, really loved it. So I'm looking forward to reading anything else by him. We'll see if it was just a one hit wonder for me or if everything else by him will work. So that's the first one, a quick one. The second one is also a classic high school book. I feel like um, the perks of being a wallflower somehow managed to live my whole life with absolutely no spoilers. Never read it, never watched a movie. The only thing I know about the movie is the scene with like Emma Watson dancing. I, I don't know anything else. I'm assuming this is a coming of age. And because it's like high school, I'm assuming someone might be, can I say suicidal on YouTube without being demonetized? Anyway, but this one I've heard in the movies excellent. So what I'm gonna do is that at the end of the 24 hours, I'll watch the movie too. That way we'll be able to compare and maybe the movie will make me cry if the book doesn't. Uh, this one is also fairly short. It's about 200 pages, so it's surprisingly heavy too. But yes, should be fairly quick. I think I might try to start with this one. That way I'll have more time in between because sometimes I get a bit much whenever you read the book and watch a movie right after. So, but yes, I have this one. Uh, the next one, I'm hoping to keep it as a backup. Like if I have read all of the other ones, which I might not have time to, then I'll try it. Otherwise I don't want to read this. <laughs> the Bridge to Therapy <laughs> I'm traumatized. I've seen the movie, that's why. That one is the one that I know what happens. And I had to ruin my day that day. I was in between classes, had time to go back home to have lunch. And then I watched the movie thinking, it's a children's movie, everything's gonna be fine. I cried so hard. I had to go back to class with like red eyes. Anyway, um, slightly traumatized. So like I said, I'm hoping not to have time to read it, but it's there. I also have Where the Red Fern Grows. And no idea what it is about. I believe this is a middle grade. A few of you told me that you had to read this in school or you picked it up because it was an option and then you just were traumatized. So again, I see two dogs on the cover. I'm assuming one of them dies. They always do that. And then the last physical copy of a book that I own is this one. This is the Traveling Cat Chronicles. This is the only one that I had to purchase new. Well, it's a used copy, but I had to purchase it through Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere and it was recommended to me so many times. Uh, I believe you're following a cat <laughs> traveling. Uh, it better not die, but I've heard that this one is very wholesome, but that the ending breaks your heart. So it's also the biggest one of all of them. This one is like almost 300 pages. I actually didn't say for this one. Um, this one is just under 300, but middle grade should be fairly quick. So yes, I'm looking forward to it. I've heard such great things. And this one I looked in my library has the audiobook. So because I have other things to do also, like I can't sit down, I, I, I get distracted easily. Like honestly, I don't understand how people can sit down and read for 24 hours. I wish I could, I cannot. So I got the audiobook of this one. So if I go on a walk or if I paint, because I have a third layer of paint to do for my library, hence this background, by the way, I'm building my own library. It's been a pain in my butt but a lot of fun and so rewarding. I never want to cut crown moldings ever again. Uh, but <laughs> but while I do my third layer of paint, 
I'll be able to listen to that one. But when I get to the ending, I will sit down to physically read it and hopefully cry. So I have two that I don't own the physical copy. One of them, the title is so long, let me get the name because... Okay, I found it. Uh, and Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, like this title, uh, by Frederick pa Backman. And I've read three of his books. So far it's been a little hit and miss for me. I feel like sometimes whenever a book tries to make you cry, I just feel emotionally manipulated and doesn't work. Uh, but you know, we're hoping for the best. This one, I believe it's only about 30 pages and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was so hard to find. Uh, my library didn't have it, nor the second library I have access to. Amazon didn't have it. So I had to order an e e-copy elsewhere. So I have it, I'll read it 30 pages. I don't know if it's gonna be long enough for me to get emotionally invested and cry, but you recommended it, I grabbed it. And then last but not least, I got one ebook on my phone just in case. I don't think I'm gonna have time, but just in case. I got The Color Purple, which again, I don't know anything about, but I believe this is about racism. And that's it. I think that's enough. Uh, I'm curious how many times I'm gonna cry if I cry. I'm hoping for at least once. I don't know why. I feel like this is sounding a bit <laughs> questionable, but I'm hoping I will cry once. My prediction is that I will not. I'm not gonna cry, but hopefully. And to make it extra fun, that's why I'm doing it within 24 hours. Although I am a grandma, so we're doing 9 p.m. till 9 p.m. and I will be sleeping because at midnight, I will be gone. I will be gone. I don't understand how people do that either. I need sleep. I will fall asleep. So from 9 p.m. tonight till 9 p.m. tomorrow. And then after the 9 p.m., I will watch the movie of uh, The Wallflower One, unless I hate the book, but we'll see. I hope you're excited. I'm nervous. Let me in the comment section your prediction. I'm curious. Will I cry? Will I not cry? So it's now 9 p.m. as you can guess with the lighting, although it could be 7 and you wouldn't know. <laughs> it gets so dark so early now. But I'm going to start reading the book. I'm going to read the first chapter. It's about 40 pages. Normally I try to give a first impression, but 40 pages like a quarter of the book. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to aim to read half of it tonight before I fall asleep, which is... I'm a grandma. I feel like I'm already sleepy, but... Let's do this. Okay, so I read the first chapter, the first 38, 39 pages. So, so far it's giving you vibes of like flowers for Algernon, kind of. The fact that it's like, it's not really a general entry in this case. Uh, the main character is writing letters to a friend that we don't know. And I don't know if the character is like on the spectrum or something, but I don't want to Google anything because there's going to be so many spoilers for this book, so I'm not going to look into it. But we finally know what, you know, the whole wallflower thing is. I have to say first impression, I don't find that the writing flows really nicely. So it feels like it's going to take me forever to read the whole book. I mean, it's taking me 50 minutes to read like a quarter of it, so... I'm going to struggle to read the first half before bed, but we're really going to try. I'm not an actual fast reader. I feel like some people on YouTube read so fast. I'm a consistent reader, like I'll read 100 books in a year, but I will not be the one that reads like 10 in a day. Although I'm kind of attempting that tomorrow, but I might have to reduce my expectations <laughs> because my TBR is way bigger than what I will actually read. I may have underestimated my capacity to read fast. Anyway, I'll get back to you in one more chapter. I did it. I didn't fall asleep before I reached the halfway point-ish. Um, it's actually really growing on me. It's a little, um, the prosciutto, but, um, it's growing on me. We're gonna end that there. I might read a little bit more, but I will fall asleep before I did again, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's like six o'clock, I can't sleep, so I'm gonna start reading. Page 151, my only comment is go Charlie. By the way, the whole permanent record thing, is that a thing? People that are now teachers, is that a thing? I was never threatened about it because frankly I was a nerdy good kid, never did anything that would have required that kind of threat but i feel like i see it in books i hear about it in movies but is it a thing let us know because i should know by now <laughs> i feel like we're having a proper update finally i'm finally awake it's like 9 20. um i finished a book it took me a lot longer than i thought i also had breakfast and yeah 
I actually <laughs> ended up really enjoying it a lot more than I expected. I mentioned like after the first chapter that I felt like the writing was a bit, not dry, but it didn't really flow for me. I struggled to get into the rhythm, but I fell in love with it for the second half and I'm now excited to watch the movie. I wasn't sure for the first half, but now I do want to watch the movie tonight. So I can see how this would be super impactful in high school. I still think it was as an adult, um, but I feel like some of his observations would have really stuck with me if I had read this at 16 or something. So yes, I understand the hype. I enjoyed it. it I don't know what rating I'm going to give it. Like at least a four though. And I'm realizing there's a sticker. <laughs> when you buy used books, there's often a bunch of stickers. So yes, it's also kind of damaged, but it was the only copy I was able to find and I really wanted to read it. So yes, one book read, did not cry though. Wasn't even close to crying, to be honest. So currently it's Emily One, books zero. And it's been 12 hours now. I mean, it's sleep, but 12 hours, only one book finished. Not good. We have to step it up. But I think that I'm going to go and get ready. I brushed my teeth, but I didn't wash my face or anything. So I'm going to do that. Probably do my makeup and everything. And then I'm going to go on a walk because it's actually sunny. I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah, kind of. There you go. And it's been raining every day. Although it's very cold, it's like two degrees Celsius. So uh, it probably won't be a long walk. But, you know, while I get ready and go on my walk, I will be listening to the cat audiobook because it's the audiobook that I have. And then we'll pick up the physical book. And maybe I'll paint also while I'll send the audiobook later on. But I need to step it up because I won't be able to finish that many books. I might pick up a couple short ones after the cat book because it will start being late. But it doesn't matter. There's no stress. The goal is just to read as many as I can, enjoy them, and hopefully cry. Because you didn't make me cry. Good book, though. Good book, though. I approve. Just wanted to mention, I just started the audiobook and it's already amazing. Just listening to story through the eyes of a cat is just perfect. Perfect. Sometimes I feel like there's something wrong with me whenever I read like sad or emotional books because I'm not invested and I don't find them sad or I'm just, I don't care. And it makes me feel like it's me, but I'm like seven minutes into the audiobook of the cat and I'm already super invested. So from now on, I need to remind myself, it's not me, it's the book or we're just not connecting, but like... It's already so good. I, I feel like if I'm gonna cry that book, there's a chance I cry. <laughs> oh my god, it was so cold. Um, <laughs> not going outside today. Uh, it's almost an hour later, so I'm gonna go grab the physical book. I've listened to the first chapter and I'm really enjoying it so far. Seeing the story, or at least parts of the story, through the eyes of the cat is so funny and wholesome. Really liking it, so let's grab the physical copy. Okay, so this is the pile of books that I'm hoping to read today. This is the finished one. We're going to put it right there. This is the next one. I need to probably organize these. Actually, I probably should read this one next because it's the shorter one or even the ebook. So let's get to work. Just realized there's a picture. I don't know if it's each chapter or not, but I hadn't looked at the physical copy yet. Yeah, so there are pictures for. Each chapter is cool. Okay, so I'm at page 81 and I have a better idea of what the plot is about. I feel like I didn't really mention the plot for the perks of being a wallflower, but I feel like everyone knows coming of age kind of story. That's basically what it was, high school, and it was good. But this one, uh, yes, it's about the cat, but essentially the owner is trying to find a new house for the cat because of something. I'm hoping he's not dying because, you know, when people say a book is sad, but uh, he's going from like old friends to old friend to try to see if someone will be a good owner. So far, no success. I think I'm going to get sad. 105. We keep having little hints of what might be wrong with the situation where he's getting rid of the cat. It seems to imply, I don't know if that's a spoiler, but I mean, I haven't finished the book. Like there's no explanation. So it just seems like... The owner is sick He doesn't want people to know, nor the cat, but so far it's good. It's just that for every friend that we see, um, we get a flashback of how they became friends and these sections were following them as kids. And I always feel like it feels a bit like a children's book for adults. Like the messages are so heavy handed that 
it feels a bit condescending. That's why I often struggle with like books that are seen as wholesome. But so far I'm still enjoying it and I really like the cat as a character. He's very sarcastic but likable. I wanted to mention I'm at page 127 and someone thinks that maybe it's because he lost his job. I wanted to put it out there so that one, it's not just me thinking everyone's about to die every two seconds, but also that way it's not a spoiler, no matter what it is. Like I won't tell you what it is at the end, but there are other possibilities. It's just me <laughs> expecting the worst every two seconds. It's the team of this vlog, okay? I, I can't help it. I mean, think about it. When someone tells you a book is really sad, that's usually what happens. Anyway, um, I'm always halfway through. Soon I'm going to go and paint my third layer of paint because otherwise I will not do it. I'll probably drink some coffee or something before to give me a little bit of energy, but I have the rollers now. The first time I did it was with the brush and it took me two and a half hours. And there's a section I have to do with a brush, but the rest I will use the roller. So probably only take me like half an hour, but I want to get to it before I finish the book. That way I at least can continue reading, like listening to the audiobook. Because I'm starting to feel the pressure. Gotta finish, you know, books today. What time is it? I can actually see. Uh, it's 11.10, I think. Looking at my oven. Um, but yeah, I still have a little bit over half of this book. And then afterwards we'll... Oh, I, I thought it was 300. It's not quite 300. Okay. I'm halfway-ish through this book. So things are going still really well. I haven't been too distracted yet, but I can feel it coming. That's why I'm starting to think maybe I'll go paint. That way I'm moving and feeling productive, then I can sit down more to read more. So it's going well, though. I'm actually really enjoying it. I feel like when I was a kid, I could literally sit down and read all day long, no issues, and like binge read series. And like, why is it becoming harder and harder? I feel like I have the shortest attention span. And I also have, how do you say that in English? Around here, we would say avoir la bougette. Like, I, I can't stay, I can't stand still. I have to do things. Like, it's the weekend. I feel like I need to be productive, filming videos, which I guess I'm doing. I'm still working. And then tomorrow morning, my dad is coming by and we're doing the crown molding on the library. So, like, I'm still going to be very productive this weekend. And I'm excited to read these books. Where is it? There. But it's kind of, I don't take that time anymore. And maybe it's a good thing, something I should actually even do more next year, do more 24 hours reading blog. Let me know if you like them. To force myself to learn to actually relax a little bit. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of vlogs for that to happen. <laughs> but yes, th that was the point of this update. I'm going to go back to reading, but there are some other possible explanation. So I don't know why my brain automatically went to like cancer. So hopefully not, hopefully not. But would he really get rid of the cat that he loves just because he lost his job? Okay, so it's 11.45, I think. I'm at chapter three and a half. Apparently that's a thing. <laughs> uh, that's page 180. So I'm gonna grab a bite, take a little break, and then I'm gonna go and paint and listen to the audiobook. So I'm a bit past the halfway point. So if I spend 30 minutes painting, I'll probably go through one more chapter and I'll have like one and the epilogue left. I don't think I'm going to cry. I don't think I'm going to cry, but it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. So I decided to wait to do everything else until I have the crumb molding in case I have to paint them depending on how it goes. But I painted this bit that I finally was able to glue and I did these cracks, although they're going to need two more layers, but you can see it makes a difference. I feel like when you stand far away, we won't notice it as much. And these, because this is the back, right, of the bookshelves. The IKEA really bookshelves are not meant to be in the middle like this. They're meant to be against the wall. So I had to paint these. And then last second, I noticed that you could see the wood here. So I painted it two against the first layer. There's going to be a need for two more. But I'm pretty happy with the progress. I need to go wash my hands and uh, change back. But I feel very successful. I'm almost done with that three and a half, third and a half chapter. Uh, so I'm gonna finish the physical book. I can feel the sadness coming now, but yes, this is the progress. I need to clean up everything. I had a few things that I had to patch and I'm gonna have to send, but the bookshelves are starting to look like an actual library. 
probably in a week or two, it will be done. Hopefully. I'm not crying, but my eyes are definitely misty, as you can tell. Uh, page 240, 249. I don't really want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> um I guess I'm not done yet I still have to hit the lock but I guess this book wins fine <laughs> I was not prepared I wasn't expecting like I knew what to expect at one point but damn yes okay I've cried the book wins whatever <sighs> Hey, we found a book that could make me cry though. So, I finished a book. It's about 1.30, two books done, a few more to go. Let's go grab the next one, but damn, it got me. I was doing so well. I was not going to cry. It was totally fine. And then that first time I didn't cry, it was misty, but um, the second one I cried. Okay, so my eyes are still... <laughs> I was not expecting it. <sighs> okay, next book. Okay, so two book done. Now, I probably should actually read the ebook before I forget, but afterwards we'll read this, so let's grab it. So here's a short story. I'm ready to cry again. I'm not crying. I'm only at page 7 out of 31, and it it's testing me. I'm not going to cry. But it's testing me. So it turns out it was the last page. Um, didn't cry. <laughs> Teary, but I didn't cry. I, I I get the point, okay? I get the point. But it was close. It was close. It was good. It was good. So far, all of these, I haven't really given them ratings. But so far, I would say they were all like four and up. And like I'm picky with short books because I feel like often you don't have to you don't have time to get emotionally invested. Clearly I did. Um so yeah, almost. But I'm considering this Emily to books one. We need proper tears. Proper tears. Like I didn't even have like tears going down with the other one, but it still counted. I was I was crying. Yay! Let's go for a fourth book to attempt to make me cry. Sorry to wonder if this is really healthy to be trying to make myself cry like this, but three good books. Now, fourth one. Let's see if this will make me cry. It's, what time is it? It's just past two. So that was a quick read. I mean, it was short. I thought it was 30 pages, but I think it's like, I don't know, it's on the computer, right? So it's kind of hard to tell, but... The computer is saying three pages, but I think it's more than three pages. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a bit when I'm done with this one. So it is a high school book because there's literally the high school there. I don't know if you can see. E.N. Is that Indiana? I don't know how it managed to make it all up to Canada, but I'm at page 38 and I already hate Curly. I already know that's going to end badly. Um, and no one, hopefully, kills the old dog. <laughs> There's only so many more sad things I can think in one day, so. But the writing is fine so far. I just, you know, some authors are just really good at writing horrible people. You just want to, like, <sighs> that's girly. Finished the book. No tears, though. Um, it's definitely a very sad book, but more, like, less tears, more everyone's life is miserable and I feel terrible for having read this sad um yeah I can't imagine reading this at school uh but provokes st strong reactions which I guess brings the discussion but yeah it was I guess a friendship between two men so I guess my description or what I thought was the description wasn't too far off, but there's nothing else to say. You just have to experience it, and it was awful, but it was meant to be. I don't know what I'm going to rate this book. 
no idea. I'm going to need some time. Um, going to grab the next book, but it's about 4.30, so I'll probably start making food soon, take a little break, because back to back like this, reading sad books like that, I need a break now. <laughs> okay, so book three, but plus the ebook, so four books read. Now, oh gosh, I guess we're reading this one. I don't know if I want to do that to myself. <laughs> so it's just past seven, and I'm at page 94. And I'm not really interested in the book, to be honest. It's like a little boy desperately wanting to get two dogs, two specific haunted dogs, hunting dogs. And now he has them and he's like hunting with them and it's all very dramatic. But like, it's like the fifth time there's a comment about women. And I'm like, I let a couple slide, but like eventually it becomes annoying. Like, what's the quote exactly? After all, she was a girl and girls don't think like boys do. These are the kind of books we had to read as kids and we didn't realize that this was like playing with our head. Anyway, I'm going to read a little bit more, then go shower, and then I'll probably get ready to watch the movie because there's no way I'm finishing it tonight in the next two hours. So I'm going to try my hardest, but I'm hoping my interest will increase. I liked it in the beginning. Just the hunting, I don't really <laughs> care. I've given up on the book, so took my shower, washed my makeup off. We're gonna watch a movie now because it's eight o'clock. How did I manage to not know that any of these actors were in this movie? Like, I, I wasn't kidding when I said I didn't know anything about the movie except the Emma Watson dance scene. And I keep seeing actors, I'm like, they play in this movie? <laughs> I do wanna say, I feel like I moved on quickly this morning after finishing the book. That re-watching the movie, I'm only like eight minutes into it. It's like, it's just so fresh. I'm like, oh no. Now that I know how it ends, I'm like, no. I don't want to rewatch this. I know it's going to be good though. But I feel like this morning, since it was the first book I finished early, I needed more time to digest it. And now I feel like it's it's happening. And I'm like, no, no, not that trauma again. But it was a good book. I just was not expecting that ending. And now I'm going to have to experience it again. I just got to the same scene I was mentioning this morning, page 150-something. Go, Charlie! <laughs> the movie is so good. I can't believe I had never watched the movie or read the book. Crazy. Why? I need to finish it. I'm done. The movie was great. This vlog was successful. I'm pretty sleepy now, but... Finished four books, cried once, almost cried <laughs> once. So I think we succeeded. A few books out of uh, my TBR pal, and I enjoyed most of them. So I'm going to bed. I'm sleepy. Wanna meet you